Hello. So what do we need to deliver for our final assignment? Well, we need to create a package from the complete InDesign work that we've done. And the way that we do this is to actually go to File and Package. However, there are a couple of things that we need to do before we uh, take that step. So I'm just going to go back through these things to explain these things to you. OK, the first one is that we need to make sure that we don't have any errors in our document. Now, typically, the kind of errors that you're more, more likely to uh, encounter uh, will be within your links panel. So check your links panel, look at each one of these, and make sure that your images are, first of all, in the CMYK color space, not RGB. They might possibly be, uh, if they're black and white only, they could be in grayscale, but generally CMYK, not RGB. That's the first thing that you must make sure. And the other thing is that the images must be in the right or in a high enough resolution. Now we can accept 250 uh, PPI. You can see in this image that I've just selected, um, it's 250 PPI, that's points per inch, and it's in CMYK. Let me just look at one more. Here we are. This logo is actually 288. The actual PPI is not what we're interested in, it's the effective PPI. Okay, so make sure that the effective PPI is 250 PPI or more. More is fine, less is not so good. And that it is also in CMYK. So I don't have any problems with mine, but you, you should, that's one of the things that you should check. The other thing is that you might see in your errors uh, and I'll just look at my pre-flight panel, which is down at the bottom here in that, uh, in that message down there. Click on pre-flight panel, and this will show you the errors that you have um, actually in terms of, well, the text, for example. If you've got overset text, it basically means that you have some text which won't fit into the text box. The text box is too small to accommodate the text that you've got. Um, in my case, um, I know where it is because I'm going to click on page 10. I know what it is. It's because I've created this red lorry, yellow lorry uh, repeat, and I just made it uh, you know, as large as I could, and then I've shrunk that piece of text down. So actually, I don't have a problem with this. This is not really a serious issue for me. Um, but if you've got some overset text, you might well see, um, for example, over here, we might see a little plus a little red uh, cross in a in a box and that's telling us that there's some text that's not displaying because the text box is not large enough so do check that uh, as another error so those errors should be checked before we now go through this next process so let's go back to our it doesn't matter where where we're sitting but i'm just going to go back to the first page actually again now, OK, so what we need to do, as I say, is to create a package. Now, a package is really just taking in design, taking the fonts, taking the images, taking it all and put it into a folder um, so that you can then deliver that. And I mean, typically we would be delivering that to the printer. In our case, we want you to deliver this for the assignment. So the way that we go about doing this, as I say, is to go to File Package. But there is one more thing that we need to do. We need to go and make, we need to create a PDF preset because part of this pro exercise, I mean, the, probably one of the most important parts of the package is the PDF, which would be what the printer would use to print. And so in order to create this PDF, we need to first of all tell what, tell it what kind of PDF we want. So we do this through our file menu and we go scroll down until we find Adobe PDF presets and we then define one. But there are a Sumba, some here already, but we are gonna define one of our own because there are some very specific settings that we need, define. Now, we're gonna call it a new one, so we click new. Uh, you can give it a name, you should give it a name so that you remember what one you're gonna select. So I'm gonna actually, needless to say, call it big text. Um, and then there are some settings that we need to uh, include here in this PDF preset. The first thing is that we want to show the spreads, the complete spreads of the document. That is to say, when it's a double page spread, we want to show that. We also want to make sure that, um, that we have all of these other things. We want to create a tagged PDF. 
but other than that, we don't really need to set anything in this particular panel. We could, of course, uh, choose a particular type of PDF, although, again, that's not particularly important for this particular task for us. There are, as you can see, if we click on this menu, you'll see there are a number of different ones. Probably it's come up by default as this uh, 2002 version, but it really isn't that significant. This is one of those things where the printer normally would, would tell you what uh, level of PDF uh, what version of PDF they would prefer to work with. But generally speaking, it's not going to be a, a big issue for us. So um, don't worry too much about that setting. The next part is the compression, which again, by default, won't need changing because what it's going to do is it's going to take all of the images which are higher than 300 DPI, well, actually higher than 450 DPI. If anything is like, you know, if you've got a huge, huge, huge image that you've taken with your super, super camera and it's very high res resolution, uh, say, you know, a thousand uh, PPI, uh, then what will actually happen is it will reduce it down automatically to 300 at the point at which it, it does this uh, PDF. So you don't need to change anything here again. This is, this is all default and you shouldn't change anything here. The next part, though, you do need to make a change. In here, we want to show on the PDF, we want to show the crop marks. OK, and you just click on crop marks. Don't do anything else. We don't want to see bleed marks, registration marks, color bars. We don't need any of that. Just the crop marks. That's very important. But we also do need to tell it what are the bleed? What is the bleed? Well, the, because your template already includes in it a three a, a three millimeter bleed line, you need to click on use the document bleed settings. Okay, and we don't need to worry about anything else. That's fine for this particular project. We don't need to worry about the output or any of these things. You just click OK, uh, and you say done. So what we've now got is a PDF preset set up ready for when we now do the next step, which is to package file and package. Now here uh, you will have some opportunity to look for errors again. Um, I've got three images that are still in the RGB color space, so I need to go back and change that. So this is actually, if you like, the last resort where you want to make sure that you've got all the uh, all everything correct. I've got one embedded image which I would also want to uh, correct. I think that might just be the that might actually it might just be the QR code in fact. So I don't think I need to worry about that. But the uh, the three RGB images I do need to go back and change. So I. Normally, if I see this, I would stop everything and go back and correct those. So you, you, you can do that. But I'm going to carry on now. If we go to this links and images, you'll, you'll see it will actually tell us which ones uh, we need to check. But I'm going to go through that in a moment anyway. So no need to worry about that. So nothing to change here. Um, and we now just simply need to go to package. Um, and then this, this next dialog box. Uh, you're going to see uh, an opportunity to put your name in. So do put your contact name in, uh, your email address. We don't need anything else. Phone, phone numbers are really good to put in if you are sending this off to the printer, but we don't need to do that for the moment. OK, so just your name will do and then click continue. Now, this is basically showing us what we're going to get. We're going to get a, um, a folder. And you can see it's telling us that we're saving this folder by the name of my InDesign document, which I call Big Text Week 9, blah, blah, blah. So that basically will be a folder. But what we need to do, you, you, you can leave all these ticks on down here at the bottom. All of these are absolutely fine. But this is the one thing that you do need to change. Select the PDF preset. Well, OK, maybe that's pretty obvious. We need to choose the one that we've just created called Big Text. So do this, click package. Uh, you'll get a warning about fonts because you're actually distributing the fonts that you may not have permission to do, but we're not worried about that either. So just hit OK to that. Um, yeah, it's telling me about that error, but that's fine. I know what that is. That's where I've got big yellow, big, big lorry, no, red lorry, yellow lorry and all that. So I don't need to worry about that. I'm going to hit OK. Uh, I've got some issue about transparency. I don't know, actually, this might not show up for you. This might be a new warning. 
because I've got the new version of InDesign. I don't know actually, so I haven't seen that one before. Okay, click OK. And we're going to go on for a few moments. It's just packaging up, it's bringing everything together. It actually makes copies of everything and puts them in a folder. And that would be then what we need for you to deliver. I'm just going to come on to that now. Okay, so let's have a look in my folder. Okay, so here is the folder here. So up at the top here, here's the folder. Let's actually look at that with the in, in, the, in the logo form. So there's the folder. And if I just click into that folder, you can see this is what I've now got. So I've got all of the files, all of the links, all of the images are inside the links document. And if I look at the PDF, this is what your PDF should look like. It should be then, um, I'm going to need to bring that over onto the onto the page. There we are. So this is the PDF then. So there's the first page and then there's the spread. Now you can see in the spreads how the how we've got these uh, crop marks that are really just showing the well the the person who does the trimming uh, where to where to crop that where to top, where to chop that off see okay so that's basically what we need from you so then once you've got that package and when you've got once you've got that folder which is right here this folder you need to right click over it I'm talking about on the Mac now uh, we need a zip of that folder a zip file and on the Mac you just simply hit compress and that's going to then make a zip file from that folder. If you're on a PC and you're working at home, then you need to do something slightly different for that. But essentially, uh, we need that compressed or zipped file of that folder. So let's wait and see what happens here. So there is the zip fo file there. Um, and in fact, if I view this like so, you can see that this is actually 130 megabytes. Now that means on Moodle, you can't put that on directly onto Moodle. You're going to have to put that into your Google Drive and share that as a link on the Moodle um, submission location. Okay, so do reach out if you have any problems. Do reach out. Let us know if you have any issues, uh, and uh, we'll uh, you know obviously help you online, preferably through Slack. Thank you.